Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ash Freeman and today I have a beautiful vinyasa flow for you. And this flow is going to be what we call a ladder flow, meaning that each time we move through it, we're going to add on a few extra postures to the end. And this is going to allow you to get really familiar and comfortable with the sequence so that you can find that deeper connection with your breath. All you'll need is a nice safe and flat space for your mat. If you have a block handy, have it with you. Otherwise, take breaks and modify whenever you need. You always know your body best. When you're ready, let's get moving. Okay, my friends, getting started, kneeling towards the back of your mat, knees wide, big toes touching behind, palms resting down on your thighs. And can we find a place where the head stacks over the heart, the heart stacks over the hips? On your next in-breath, breathing a little more length and spaciousness up from the base of the spine, through the back of the neck, lifting up tall from the crown of your head and closing down the eyes or softening through the gaze. Can we feel the heart shine a little forward and up? Just take an easy breath in and an easy breath out. Inhale through the nose for one, two, three, Four, pausing at the top of the breath, opening the mouth, sighing the breath out for four, three, two, one, and rest. Once more, just like that. Inhale for one, two, three, four, pausing, lingering at the top, open the mouth, sigh out for three, two, one, and pause, resting in the silence. Take one easy breath in. And as you breathe out, come to child's pose. Eyes can stay closed. As we rest the forehead down to the mat, feel your hips sink heavy down towards the heels. As you inhale, feel the body get wider and expand, create space. As you exhale, hips, heart and head melt down towards the earth. Take one more breath in here, feeling the belly, the ribs, the chest. As you exhale, right arm threads under, take right temple to the mat, finding a gentle twist, keep the hips anchored. Breath stays flowing down to the belly, into the back of the right shoulder, the left ribs. And just starting to give yourself permission to slow down. And stay for one more breath in. And as you exhale, coming back to child's pose. And then taking it to the other side, left arm threads under. Just taking these first few moments of our practice to bring our body, our mind and our breath all into one space, all into union. And take one more breath in here. Exhale, make your way to tabletop, shoulders over wrists, hips stack over the knees. Spread through the palms, get nice and lifted through the chest. As we inhale, belly drops, heart shines forward. Let's pause here. Really spreading through the fingertips, breathing space into the front of the body, gazing forward. On your next out breath, curl the tail, draw the navel back, round through the shoulders, let your head hang. Again, really feeling like we're pressing the mat away, long and strong through the arms. Flowing once with breath, inhale, belly drops, heart draws through. And exhale, tuck the tail round and press the mat away. This time as we inhale, extend the right leg back, get long through the top of the head down to the toes. 
exhale draw the knee forward to the nose round the shoulders hug thigh to belly once more inhale sweeping it back get long and exhale draw the knee forward tucking in this time as we inhale right leg extends bend through the right knee draw your belly in as we reach the left hand back to take hold of the inner edge of the foot and press the foot to the hand can we lift the heart lift the gaze find the balance here take one more breath in as you exhale gently releasing the foot stepping the foot forward to the center of the mat finding your balance here adjusting knee over the front ankle as we inhale arms rise take your gaze up towards your thumbs shoulders soft as we exhale elbows bend take the gaze back forward inhale right arm comes back left arm reaches high find the twist and exhale hands return back to heart center moving through once more inhale arms rise gaze to thumbs body full of breath exhale elbows open heart forward inhale right arm back left arm high take the gaze back and exhale hands back to heart staying for one breath in tuck your back toes and as we exhale hands come back to the mat stepping back to your high plank position take one breath in again body gets light with breath as we exhale lower chaturanga knees down or lifted belly lowers inhale baby cobra point the toes elbows draw back chest lifts exhale back to child's pose hips to heels take one breath in body gets wide as you exhale return back to all fours inhaling belly drops heart through exhale round press the mat away once more inhaling open front of body and exhale shoulders separate inhale left leg back reach through the crown reach through the toes exhale knee draws forwards thigh hugs to belly again inhale reaching back getting long and strong exhale draw knee to nose rounding here as you inhale left leg back bend the knee draw lower belly in find the balance right arm reaches back press the foot to the hand lift the heart open the shoulder pausing here a little flexion through your left toes stay for one more breath in gently releasing the foot left foot steps forward finding your low lunge position front knee over the front ankle finding our flow inhale arms rise gaze to thumbs belly drawing in exhaling elbows open looking forward inhale twist from the belly left arm back right arm up exhaling hands come back to heart once more like that inhaling arms rise looking up exhale take your time elbows bend inhale twisting left arm back right arm up reach 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 and exhale hands come back to heart soften the shoulders take one more breath in here and as we exhale tuck the toes take the hands down step back to high plank position staying for the breath in get long and lengthened as you exhale lower with control chaturanga belly all the way down to the mat inhaling to cobra lift the heart lift the gaze exhale this time tucking the toes pressing back to downward facing dog 
Inhale, rising onto the tips of the toes. Spread your palms, hips high. Exhale, lower the heels back down to the mat. Once more, inhale, lifting the hips, lifting the heels, articulating the feet to the toes. Exhale, lowering back down. Two breaths here, drawing lower belly in, engage through the thighs. One more breath in and out. Inhale, rise onto the toes, look forward between the hands. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump to the top of the mat, fold forward. Inhale, weight to the front of the feet, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, folding forward over the legs, head hangs. Inhale, arms rise up to standing, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, hands to the heart, release by the sides. And we flow, inhale, arms rise, lift and lengthen. Exhale, folding forward, release. Inhale, weight to the front of the feet, half lift, create space. Exhale, hands down, step or jump back, chaturanga with control. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, full length of the breath back to downward facing dog. Staying for one breath in, body gets wide. And exhale, knees come back down to the mat to all fours. And again, inhale, belly drops, heart draws through. Exhale, round and press the mat away. This time straight away, inhale, right leg back, reaching through crown of the head. And exhale, draw the knee forward, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg back, bend the knee, left hand to the inside of the foot, pressing the foot to the hand, lift through the chest. We stay for just one breath in. Release the foot, step it forward. As we exhale, find our low lunge. Beautiful to our flow. Inhale, arms rise, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, bend the elbows, heart forward. Inhale, right arm back, left arm high. Exhale, hands back to heart. Option to stay down or come up into our crescent lunge. Inhale, arms rise. This is just more of an active variation, so choice is yours. Exhale, bend the elbows, looking forward. Tuck the tail. Inhale, right arm back, left arm high. Exhale, hands come back to heart. If you're down, coming up to your high lunge, inhale, hands to heart, open the chest. And exhale, coming forward to arrowhead, right up onto those back toes. Inhale, we lift arms up and forward, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, arms back by the sides. Once more, draw belly in. Inhale, reaching through the fingertips. Exhale, arms back by the sides. Staying for one breath in here. Lengthen the spine, lift the heart. And exhale, hands come down. Find a hamstring stretch here. Taking three breaths here. Option to rock back and draw the toes back. You could take your hand onto a block. Heart folding over the right thigh. Staying for one more breath in. Find a little more length in the spine. Exhale, rounding, folding forward. As we inhale, bending front knee, making our way to warrior three. So coming onto that front leg, starting to lift up through the back. Beautiful. Again, reaching crown of the head through the heel. Take one more breath in. Bend your supporting knee. Take the hands down to the mat for a standing open hip split here. So fingertips walk back towards the toes. Reaching left toes up towards the sky, gazing to your shin. Taking one more breath in here. 
As you exhale, bend the supporting leg, step the top foot all the way back, frame the foot. Well done, inhale, step it back, high plank. And exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhaling to upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Staying for one full breath in. Exhale, knees back to the mat. Continuing to flow, inhale, belly drops, heart draws through. Exhale, round the tail, belly back, shoulders round. Inhale, left leg back, reaching through the crown. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg back, bending the knee. Right hand to the inner edge of the foot. Lift the heart, lift the chest. Belly drawing in, one breath in here. Release the foot as we exhale, left hand to the center of the mat. Inhale, arms rise up, gazing to thumbs. Exhale, elbows bend, heart forward. Inhale, left arm back, right arm reaching high, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, hands back to heart, staying down or lifting for our second round. Inhale, lifting up, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, open elbows wide. As you inhale, left arm back, right arm high. And exhale, hands come back to heart. Lifting if you're down, inhale, hands to heart, high lunge. As we exhale, arrowhead right up onto those back toes. Firing up left thigh, inhale, reaching through the arms. And exhale, swimming back down by the sides. Once more, we've got this inhale, reaching, lunge, 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 strong back leg. Exhale, arms back behind. As you inhale, get long, lift with the breath. And exhale, folding forward over that front leg. Releasing the shoulders, heart over the thigh, breathing here. I'm just taking one more breath in and out, bend that front knee, taking your hands to heart as we start to make our way forward to our warrior three, weight into the left leg, lifting up through the right, finding your drishti, your gaze point, somewhere to focus your eyes to balance, breathing here, staying for one more breath in. Hands come down to the mat as we find our standing split. Walking the fingertips back towards your toes. Right leg reaches high. Bottom knee can be as bent as you need. Beautiful. Taking one more breath in. As you exhale, bend left leg. Step right foot all the way back. Hands down to the mat. Inhale, step it back. High plank position. Body strong. Exhale, lower with control, chaturanga. Inhaling to cobra or upward facing dog. And exhaling, pressing back, downward dog. Inhale, rise onto the toes, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhaling, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, arms rise up and overhead. Exhaling, arms by the sides. Inhaling, arms rise. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands down, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking one full breath down into the belly, ribs wide. Exhale, knees down to the mat, our last round. So inhale, belly drops, heart forward. Exhale, round and release. Inhale, right leg back, reaching through crown. Exhale, knee to nose, rounding here. 
Inhale, bend the right knee, left arm back. Draw lower belly in, lifting through the heart. Take one more full breath in. And as you exhale, right foot steps forward. Option to stay down or lift for both rounds. Inhale, arms rise, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, open those elbows wide. Inhale, right arm back, left arm up. And exhale, hands back to heart. Tuck toes and lift. Second round, inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, elbows wide, strong back leg. Inhale, Inhale, right arm back, left arm high. And exhale, hands back to heart. Staying for one breath in, open through the shoulders. As you exhale, come forward, arrowhead, deep lunge here. Just once we inhale, arms rise up. And exhale, swimming back by the sides. Staying for one breath in, getting long. And exhale, folding forward. Taking two breaths here. Breathing into the back of that front leg. Bending front knee, taking the hands to the heart as we make our way to warrior three. Finding your balance. Taking one more breath in here. As you exhale, hands come down, standing split, gazing to the shin. Taking one more breath in here. Bending supporting knees, step it all the way back, palms down to the mat. This time as we inhale, right leg swings back and high, three-legged dog. As you exhale, right knee comes across to the left elbow. And again, inhale, sweeping back to three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee comes across, looking to the outer edge of the mat, stepping the foot through. And we breathe open to fall and triangle here. So we're grounding into the outer edge of the front foot, back foot flat, lift the hips, lift the heart. Breathing here, find length. And take one more breath in. Keep your hand and feet where they are. As we exhale, just the hips lower down to the mat. So we're facing now in a straddle towards the back corner of your mat. Continuing to move as we inhale, come to Navasana, boat pose. As you exhale, feet together, knees wide, fold forward. Twice more, inhale, Navasana, heart lifted. And exhale, Badakanasana, fold and reach. Once more, inhale, lifting up and pausing here. We hold for three. Energy through the fingertips for two. For one more breath in. Feet together, knees wide and fold forward. We hold for three. For two, for one, and gently lifting up, coming back to the front of your mat, right leg forward, left leg back, coming to pigeon pose, but an active variation, so pressing into that front shin, flexing the front foot, stay lifted, heart open, breathing here. Really feeling the front of the left hip opening. Lower belly drawing in, taking one more breath in. Exhale, hands come back to the mat, tuck the back toes, draw the belly back as we inhale. Sweep back to three-legged dog, right heel high. Exhale, bend the knee, open through the hip. Option to stay here for a few breaths or coming to wild thing, right foot touches down, lift the hips and the heart, opening front of body, lifting through the chest. Taking one more full breath in, expressing through the pose. As you exhale, make your way back to your high plank. Lower with control, chaturanga, beautiful. Inhale, moving through vinyasa, lift the heart and the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking one breath in, 
and exhale knees to the mat other side inhale belly drops heart forward exhale round and press away inhale left leg back exhale knee to nose inhale reaching back bend the knee press foot to hand take one more breath in here exhale release the foot stepping it forward option for two rounds up or one up one down inhale arms rise exhale open the elbows inhale twist and reach 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 exhale hands back to heart tuck and lift inhale arms rise well done exhale elbows open strong back leg inhale left arm back right arm high exhale hands back to heart staying for the breath in here getting strong and exhale forward to arrowhead one time swimming the arms up and forward reaching through the fingertips exhale arms back by the sides deepen your lunge for one more breath in shoulders draw back exhale hands to the mat fold forward two breaths here shoulders drawing away from the mat taking one more breath in as you exhale bend front knee hands come to heart shifting forward finding warrior three lifting up strong back leg supporting leg can be bent we stay for one more breath in exhale fingertips to mat folding forward standing split drawing the elbows back pointing through the toes one more breath in as you exhale step back right foot down hands to the mat inhale draw belly back left heel high three-legged dog exhale knee across the body towards the elbow inhale sweeping it back and high exhale knee across the body stepping the left foot through as we peel the right arm up and open finding fallen triangle again lift the heart lift the hips lift the gaze reach 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 body full with breath take one more breath in here hands and feet stay as we exhale hips down to the mat beautiful inhale navasana inner thighs draw together exhale feet together knees wide baddha konasana twice more inhale to lift exhale fold forward this time as we inhale lift and hold and we stay for three for two maybe finding a smile for one beautiful feet together folding forward and we stay here for three for two for one and lifting all the way back coming to pigeon pose left leg forward right leg back active variation so grounding into the front shin flexing the front foot maybe you even take arms up or find any other variations here shoulders drawing back lower belly in one more breath in exhale hands down to the mat tuck the back toes as you inhale sweep left heel high three-legged dog exhale bending through the knee option to stay or left toes touch down lightly with control and we lift up into our wild thing hips and heart pour open breathing here grounding into the mat taking one more breath in and then slowly making your way back to high plank position lowering with control inhaling to upward dog or cobra exhale downward facing dog taking one deep breath in 
Open the mouth, sigh the breath out. Walking hands back towards the feet, coming to a forward fold. Knees can be bent, you can take hold of opposite elbow or interlace the arms behind. Wait further forward into the balls of the feet. And taking one more breath in. Hands come back down to the earth, gently bending the knees. And on an in-breath, rolling back up, coming to standing. Beautiful, rolling the shoulders up and away from the ears. Heel towing the feet back together. We're going to come to dancer's pose now. So I'll give you a few different options and variations. Stepping the left foot forward first. Bending the right knee, catching the inner edge of the right foot. Breathing the left arm up and overhead. Option to stay here, just opening through the quad and the chest. Otherwise, can we inhale, ground to the foot, reach tall. Exhale, start to press foot to hand. Bit by bit by bit by bit. Reaching, leaning forward. Choose your drishti, your gaze point. Breathing here. Inhale, slowly, slowly rising all the way back up, knees together. Exhale, releasing the foot down by the sides. Take a deep breath in, arms rise. And exhale, arms by the sides. Stepping right foot forward, catching the inner edge of the left foot as we reach the right fingertips to the sky. Option to stay exactly here or lifting Drawing lower belly in, choose your gaze, and start to come forward. Focus on the breath. Inhale, rising back up. Knees together, exhale, releasing the foot. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, arms by the sides. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, folding forward. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, hands down, lower chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take one full breath in. And exhale, knees down, sitting the hips back to heels, child's pose. Arms can be out in front or down by the sides. Threading right arm underneath the left, again, right temple down to the mat. Just letting the breath start to come back to a gentle pace, a gentle rhythm. And coming back to centre, taking that to the other side. Hips soft and anchored. Body, mind and breath all in one place. One more breath in. And coming back to child's pose to all fours. Sitting the hips to the side, legs out long in front of you. Making your way onto your back. Bringing the feet flat down to the mat, fingertips reaching to your heels. Preparing for bridge pose. So tucking the tail under, drawing lower belly in. We're gonna inhale, rise for four. As we exhale, the lowering down is going to get a little longer each breath. So inhale, lifting for one, two, three, four. Exhale, lowering for four, three, two, one. In for one, two, pressing through heels, three, four. Lowering for five, four, Three, two, one. 
in for one two keep the knees heading straight up to the sky four down for six five four piece by piece two one up for one two three four lowering for seven six five four three two one last round in one two three four let's hold at the top staying here or interlace the palms behind you roll the shoulders under we stay lifted for eight seven six five lift the hips ground the heels three two one release the arms if they're underneath come back onto the shoulders lowering down for eight seven six five four three two one hugging the knees in towards the chest find a gentle rock from side to side maybe even curling the forehead up towards the knees and let's find a twist so legs over to the left gaze over to the right any variation of a twist you might like here you could come to twisted roots right thigh over left and just breathe One more breath in and out, guiding the legs back to centre, pausing for a moment and when you feel ready coming to the other side. Again, any variation of a twist that you like. Closing the eyes. Nothing else to do, nowhere else to be. Or just with yourself, with your breath. Taking breath into the left side of the waist, the left lung and ribs. And creating space and opening. And then falling back into that space with the breath. Taking one more breath in. And let that breath go. So you come back to centre. Just inviting you to take any movement here that would feel good for you. About five or so breaths. If you would like to come to shoulder stand or happy baby, maybe even a full wheel pose that is there for you if that is in your practice. Otherwise, just a little gentle rinsing out in any last way that would feel good in your body. Tuning in, honoring whatever you need. And if you are feeling ready to come to Shavasana, just laying legs out long, arms by the sides, turning the palms up. If you're in another posture, take the next three or so breaths to gently bring yourself out and to lay yourself back down, taking the heels wide, arms wide, shoulders shuffle away from the ears. Once you've landed, take a deep breath in Open the mouth, sighing the breath out, feel the body release down to the earth. And feeling the support of the earth, of the mat beneath you. Can we completely surrender the full weight and space of the body and let go? Feeling the back of the head sinking down and the brain sinking back into the skull. Space behind the eyes gets heavy and relaxed. 
eyelids just softly closed. Can you feel as if the heart space and all of the little muscles surrounding the heart also just soften and relax? The belly gently rises and falls. Hips and thighs falling open. Just resting here. Aware of all of the sensations, tingling and energy moving through your body. We'll spend a little more time here and I'll let you know when it's time to come out. And just keep softening over and over again the body, the mind and the breath. I invite you to stay here for as long as you have, for as long as you can. Otherwise, just finding soft movements through the fingers and the toes. And a gentle release of the head and the neck from side to side. And on your next in breath, just stretch your arms and your legs overhead long. Yawning the body back open. And then either rolling onto your side or rocking your way up gently to a comfortable seated position. Cross-legged or kneeling. Keeping the eyes closed or soft. Again, finding the alignment of the head over the heart, the heart over the hips. Pausing here. And floating your hands to heart center, bowing your head inward to each other, to yourself and to all other living beings. Sending my deepest gratitude for the lineage of yoga and all of the hearts and hands that this practice has passed through to allow us to be in this space together today. May we all be happy, may we all be healthy, may we all enjoy our lives with ease. Let's all together just take one more breath in and sigh that breath out. And thank you so much for joining me today. And take these next few minutes, this next time that you have nice and slowly and I'll see you again soon. All of my love, bye-bye.